Hey, hey guys, how are you? Hi, Charles. Good, good. good thanks. Um, I'm so amazed with what happens with the two of you, with the brothers on this show, because, you know, I don't quite know where everybody stands in terms of, you know, everybody on the show seems to sort of have a reason that you would want to cheer for them. And you guys are, are kind of in the middle, but by episode five in particular, Bradley, I wanted to ask you about that. The traitor in our myth scene is so fascinating and it really sort of establishes the authority of King Canute. How did you feel about that? Um, yeah, I mean, it was, a, it, was a, it was a great, great, great scene and a, a hell of a lot of fun to, um, to film over the course of, of, of three days that it, it took to complete that in the end. I don't know about the other actors having to sit there watching me uh, do it uh, time and time again. But yeah, it gives a great insight into uh, how he works. Um, you know, he's constantly keeping people guessing about his next move and what, um, what, what cards he holds up his sleeves against uh, other people that he might use against them. Mm. That, that mm -hmm. was my favorite scene of the the whole series that that round table yeah. scene I, I enjoyed sitting at that table immensely johannes what do you like what do you think about olaf you know we see a lot of it through sort of the character's eyes it's a forced perspective and we're not quite sure when you come in but then you have such a presence on the show and you know olaf certainly it seems to be morality, you know, that by the end of the of the season, we can see that, you know, the people who are ruling correctly are rewarded for it. And those who aren't, maybe a little less. What do you think of the fate of Olaf? Well, the fate of Olaf, well, I, I think Olaf should have, I think Olaf should have his way. I think people should listen to him more often. That's maybe, maybe I'm saying that because I'm so closely connected to him, but yeah, it's a. It seems that on his path, people are endlessly throwing stuff in his way, that he has to maneuver around. But I, I hope that his trajectory and uh, and uh, and path moving forward gets a little uh, easier for him. I think he deserves it because he's a nice guy. He's a, he's a he's a good bloke. Mm. I have to ask you about that in terms of being a nice guy and a good bloke because you're serving treats to members of the stunt crew, baking treats for the stunt crew. What's that like? Oh yeah, well, yeah, I started, I, I had to go into the stunt shed a lot and I started, I, I do some, I do like to bake. I, I brought my my sourdough starter to uh, to Ireland with me and you know, to keep it alive, you have to keep it going. And so, yeah, I started to bake all sorts of stuff, bread and, and cinnamon rolls and, uh, and then I got myself into a, a vicious hell cycle where I couldn't break it. Like I, every time I would go into the stunt shed, I would bring some new, something new I had baked. And once you're on a roll, you can't break your streak. So I was in a vicious hell cycle that wouldn't end, but I enjoyed it as well. It was nice baking. I found it very soothing and calming. Amazing. Bradley, I have to ask you again, because morality is so clear on this show and the debate between the new gods and the old gods, the new way of life, the old way of life. It seems like in many ways, this is historical, but it also very much feels contemporary. This feels like absolutely what we're going through right now. How does that feel for you? And do you sort of feel like King Canute is the correct ruler? Do you feel like uh, Canute alone sort of brings together all of the different threads on the show? It's a story that's told, been told a thousand times about um, one religion think, thinking that it is the only uh, the only path that's that's righteous, and trying to um, uh, dominate uh, the world. Um, but uh, I think Canute at the beginning, his main focus is to try and unite uh, two the the two divided sides, uh, the pagans and the Christians, to unite uh, against a common cause and um, seek revenge for the heinous crimes of the Saxons, that they have uh, massacred so many Vikings, innocent Danes. So, um, yeah, I think he historically uh, proved to be a very fair and just ruler. And um, historically speaking, he, he ruled very peacefully for, for a number of years, which couldn't be said for many, many uh, kings of that era. I just want to say, if I haven't already, you're both so fantastic on the show. 
the you know Welsh Icelandic, and I think that you both bring such an energy, and people are really going to enjoy watching that, as I did, and I wanted to thank you. Well, thank you, Charles. Thank you very much. That's very kind.